welcome to the BME Life. So today we have a pretty exciting video. It's a week of work slash trip to New Mexico. So I currently work for a medical device startup. So we're in the BMV phase for our testing prior to submitting an application to the FDA for clearance of our product. Specifically here in New Mexico, we came because it has a higher altitude than Texas. Where Mary currently works, it's an elevation of 700 feet. Where we're going right now, we're going to be at an elevation of 9,000 feet. We are heading towards the cabin, which is in the middle of the forest, and that's where we will be performing all these tests. It will take us three days to really complete all the testing but we will actually be here until Sunday so I think we'll have a lot of downtime so it should be fun so on our first day we stopped at a restaurant right before making our way to the cabin where there would be no Wi-Fi cell service or toilet here we got to try some amazing food as well as some sopapillas that were great it took us about 30 minutes to get to the cabin and once we were there, we first had to unpack and clean everything. There were so many bugs guys, you don't even know. My boss showed us around and we got to know the place a bit better. So it's day one at the cabin. It's a really nice cabin. Open kitchen, living room concept. And yeah, it's got everything we need. The bedroom into two. And then we can get out and wake up. So that night, we really just finished unpacking. We got to know the place and really just relaxed before we started the testing. That next morning, my boss prepared a delicious breakfast. He had prepared a menu, which was really cool because we had meals already planned for every single day. Honestly, every meal here was so delicious. We later made our way to a storage unit where we would do the testing. So the test we came to do is called System Performance Test. System Performance is the most important test because the device and all its components come together as a whole, just like it would in the clinical setting. As you can see, we set up what we call a simulated wound environment so that we can simulate the intended use of this device. For those of you wondering, this device is a negative pressure wound therapy device. This test takes a total of 24 hours. We really just turn it on and let it run. For example, the beeps that you're hearing right now are indicating a leak. We let the units run and then we explore the area a bit. You okay? We returned later to the testing site just to make sure everything was running accordingly. Isn't it so awesome that we were testing in the middle of this amazing forest? So these units have been running for 19 and a half hours. And right now I'm just going to take a measurement of the pressures in each one. For the rest of that day, we really just explored the areas around. We saw this burned out forest, and then we also saw a cow with the Texas state in its forehead, which was pretty funny. On the next day, I went with Gabby to the storage unit to check on the devices. Um, 
on the device itself. Gabby is a high school senior who came with us and offered to help since she's interested in pursuing biomedical engineering in college. So here I was mostly explaining how the test setup works, how the testing works, and what the purpose of this testing is. Since our device is a negative pressure device, it really works similar to a highly controlled vacuum. As you can imagine, the atmospheric pressure at different elevations is different. So this is why we needed to come verify that a high elevation would not affect the performance of our device. For example, that maybe the device would have to work harder and thus use more battery power and then drain the batteries before the therapy was over. I'm happy to say that the tests were a success and our device passed all the engineering requirements. By the way, if you guys don't know what engineering requirements are, please make sure to check out this video. They really just are the blueprint of your device. So we repeated this 24 hour test for 20 samples total and then really just got to enjoy nature. One of the best things that I experienced was honestly showering in the middle of the forest. We had these shower bags that we had to leave warming up under the sun the whole day. But it was honestly the best shower I've ever taken. Although you kind of did feel like everyone was watching you, even though they really weren't. The rest of this trip was very relaxing and enjoyable. I am so thankful for this opportunity and I will always look back on this experience as an amazing one. Being a biomedical engineer is honestly so rewarding and even though it's obviously not like this every day, I would encourage you all to pursue what you're passionate about. Especially if it's a degree that combines medicine and engineering like biomedical engineering. Hope you all enjoy this video and we will see you next time. Bye! Move!